Today we're looking at this Bushnell M42 135mm f2.8 lens. I'm going to take some photos with it. This lens is very chunky. Let's see, with the adapter, it's not small. This is going to be a challenge today with the wind, manual focus lens, plus it's 135 millimeters, and then you've got the crop on there. So, see how it goes. Zoom to focus is actually pretty challenging when you have a longer telephoto style lens because it's moving around so much. And then you get the sensor readout that's shaking it and wobbling it. This looks like about the minimum focus distance from the water to the lens. That is really difficult. It's wobbling so much. The way I have this set up is the AF MF button is switching between the screen and the viewfinder. This top one is the instant zoom. This flash increases the brightness temporarily for the back screen. And the trash icon is ISO. It's definitely a big boy lens on this camera. One thing you will definitely learn to slow down when you're doing stuff with a manual lens like this, plus the longer focal length. Of course, I'm controlling aperture on the lens, shutter speed in the camera. One irritating thing about the M50 is that it switched between shutter speed and aperture with a button up here, but aperture is totally useless in this case. So sometimes I can hit that and then I'm adjusting nothing. The specific lens, there is a nice long focus throw on it. It's smooth, but still pretty tight. So that's good and bad. This takes a little more effort to focus than you might need to otherwise, but it's an old lens. For some reason, the peaking is not showing up well in the zoom in. It does show up, but for some reason, I don't know, it's just not easy to see. Still using the lens around f5.6. Going to, this is a good photo op. There we go, something different. For this one, I don't need to be too exact. New area, try to get away from the people. I have a mask with me just in case, but it is very dark, although beautiful. Do I have enough space? Having the extra zoom on here with the top button, that's slightly different than the back one. It's faster, but it jumps in a lot. Last time I was here, there was water in this area. So new look to everything.
I wish I had a wide angle. Look at that. The light is being extremely variable. Got some mushrooms here. Going on 2.8. Just enough. I think I need to bump the ISO. Let's do 400. Must be the stream. Last time I was probably coming through here. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. I like how those trees are coming in with the large one on there. At this point, I'm pushing the M50. This does not like the dark. This area would be great with a 16 millimeter full frame setup. Definitely feels a lot more open when the water's not here. Let's try to get a closer up photo here. I am liking the handling of this lens, some nice build quality, easy to use, simple. The focus ring is slow to use, but you can have a decent amount of travel. And with a manual focus lens, that's super important. When you go through dense bush like that, you want to have your tripod in front of you because the spiders lay their traps through there and it'll hit your tripod and they'll get right on your tripod. But they won't get on you, hopefully. So something to keep in mind with that. I'm very curious to see how the photos turn out. Of course, you're seeing the photos as this is going. Hopefully it's decent. I like the 135 millimeter. It is a crop, but it can work well in some situations. Light is extremely variable today making it especially difficult to deal with this completely manual setup. The EFM stuff is decent for these type of manual focus, older film mirror lenses. But there are drawbacks. It's a small camera. You're dealing generally with heavy lenses. And the viewfinders in the EFM stuff so far are pretty small. They work, of course, but I would like something larger. I think having a full frame sensor would be nice to really go well with all these 35mm Filmera lenses. You can use a speed booster, which I'm experimenting with. Always check your cameras, check your settings. I don't know how much of the stuff I was missing with the B-roll camera, but maybe a few photos without me taking a photo. 
Also, I have it set to 2.7K, 48 frames a second. Well, I guess we're gonna stick with that. We'll just roll with it. Be a lot of walking, not much else. Oh, there goes my leg. Decided to give it on me. It's pads on pads on pads. That working distance on this lens is not great. I'll be curious to see how it turns out with using the speed booster because I have the EF to uh, M42 and then that'll go to EFM with the speed booster. See that in a future video. But for this one, just have to deal with that. It's like a never ending, super thin path. This will be my last spot for the day. Interesting structure, basically a picnic area. It's off the beaten path. It's kind of difficult to get to. And you can see graffiti, of course but I'll take some photos of it. In the case of this telephoto, we gotta get back, far back. There is a path here. So at one point, they had a nice path going up to there, and it's pretty neat. In this case, we're gonna to have to just take some close-ups. Won't be able to get everything in the frame with this lens. Uh, disappointing seeing this. Beer cans, cigarettes, drink bottles, just stupid. That was the first photo outing with this Bushnell 135mm f2.8 M42 mount lens adapted to the M50. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. And also the applause feature is there if you want to check it out. Scott for V Bonsai, thanks.